Here's a little bit about the transform palette panel, which is right here. So if I have this object that I just drew, and you look on here, we have a reference point is this middle handle here. So I'm just going to bring a guide down to there. to snap it right to the middle, but that's close enough. Now my X and my Y. Right now, 5.42. You can see that this guide lined up to this edge is 5.42, showing the location of the object exactly at that point. And so that's the X, and the X is always measuring across the horizon. So from the 0, 0, which is the top left-hand side of our page, if you measure over 5.42 inches, that is the edge that this point resides on, or anchor point. The Y is 4 inches, so I can see my 4 over here, uh, and that does coincide to this point. Now. If I move this, you're going to see those numbers change. So actually, I'm going to bring it here. That's at the top corner of the page. But remember, our reference point is this one. So you can see that on the X, it's 0. So from the left side of the page, there's the 0 measuring across. And this point is on the 0 on the X ruler or x-axis, but on the y, this is a half an inch down to that point. So that's what these two are. It's the position of the object in reference point to what they call the proxy. The proxy is a group of nine reference points that correspond to the nine points available. So if I uh, change this proxy, to the middle. You can see that these values have changed to reflect, well, the very midpoint of this object. Uh, now, using this transformation, I can change this height to 2 inches, or sorry, this width to 2 inches, and this height to half an inch. So the transform palette panel, sorry, now called the panel, uh, can be used to change the size. It can also be used for a rotation. Uh, so right now it's in the middle. So actually, I'm going to delete this one and come to this one. So right now the reference point is in the middle. And if I rotate this 45, enter, you can see that it's rotated at the middle point. Just as though you had a push pin here, and you took it, and you pulled it around this way. If we change it over to this reference point, and do 45, it should rotate from this point here. So we'll enter, and you can see that it's true. So that gives you more control over uh, the rotation or pivot point of the object when you rotate. You can also uh, scale it. Right now it will retain the aspect ratio because that's put in. So if we go 110% enter, it also changed the height of that as well. But if we break this, we can change this one without changing the scale of the vertical. So that's the idea of transform. Lots of these tools end up being in the control panel up here as well for rotation, just like we see here. There's the X and Y for the location. There's the width and height, just like we see here.